Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very interesting SQL problem. So this problem was asked in MD Price LLC company and one of my subscribers sent me this problem and I am here to create a solution for this. Okay, if you also have some problem, you can send it to sql.namaste at the gmail.com. I will try to solve it on my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's understand the problem and we are going to solve this problem with two methods. Okay, so watch this video, you are going to learn something interesting today. So this is our table. This table has four columns, right? This is output column, right? This, this column and there are four columns, right? One is team ID, member ID, criteria one and criteria two. Okay, now in team ID, we have T1, T1, T1. So in within one team, we can have multiple members. So for example, in T1, there are five members, right? Member one, two, three, four, five. Again, in T2, we have some number of members and then t3 we have five numbers right so we have three teams overall okay so the question is that if criteria one and two both are y so we have to we have to drive this column if a if a team member qualifies for the program or not okay for that the criteria is or the criteria is that criteria one and criteria two should be y right so if a member to qualify the program, criteria 1 and 2 should be qualified. Okay, this is the first condition. Second condition is there should be at least two team members who qualifies for the program. Okay, let me explain it. So there are two levels of condition. One, it has, one is at individual level that both the criteria should qualify, right, to qualify for the program. And there should be at least two members in the team who qualifies for the program, right? So if you see in this team, team T1, right? How many members qualifies? This guy qualifies, this qualifies, this qualifies, this qualifies, this doesn't qualify, right? Because one of one of the criteria is N. But in this team, there are at least two members because there are total four members. So this team qualifies and in this team, these four members are qualified. Okay, let's take another example. If you see team T2, so this is team T2, right? In team T2, if you see, this guy has both the criteria as Y, 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 but still it doesn't qualify. Why? Because its team doesn't qualify. In team, there should be at least two members with the who qualifies for the program. So in team T2, only one member is there who qualifies for the program. For the rest of them, if you see, this is Y, this is N, right? Again, this is N, N, N. So there is only one member who qualifies. So that's why this guy doesn't qualify. That's why it is N. Okay. Again, if you see for the T3, we have two guys qualifying. Y, 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 Y. So these two are qualifying and these three are not qualifying. I hope the question is clear. Let's move on to the solution. Okay. So this is my table, MD Price LLC. I have created and we have four columns, right? I have I have created the same data. Uh, I'll share the data and insert description in the description box as well so that you guys can try yourself as well. Okay, so what we need to do now, we have to do two things. First is we have to identify which team qualifies, right? So we have to find in which teams we have at least two members with both the criteria as Y, right? And then we have to identify which members qualify within that team. Okay. So let's identify first the teams which qualifies. So what I will go do, I'll do select star from ML, uh, ML Prize LLC where criteria 1 equal to Y, right? And criteria 2 is also Y, right? Remember, we have to get all the rows in the output, irrespective of the member qualifies or not. We just need a flag here, Y and N, and all 15 rows should be there, right? But but let's let's find out the team first. So I'm saying where both the criteria Y give me those employees, right? Those members. So these are the members. Now I need to check that in each team how many members qualifies right so if you see in t1 there are four members in t2 there is only one so this team doesn't qualify at all t3 there are again two members right so what i'm going to do i will just say team id give me all those team id right where i have already filtered the data so i will say group by team id right 
and I will take count. Count one as number of eligible members, right? These many number of eligible members will be there. So if I run this, I will get four, one, two, right? So in T1, there are four eligible members, one, two. So now if I want to identify which teams are eligible, I will just say having this count one should be greater than or equal to two, right? Those teams will be considered as qualified. So I'll just run this and I have got that T1 and T3, these two teams are qualified, okay? I will say, I will create a CT. I will say with qualified team as this, right? So I got the qualified team in my first CT, right? Now what I will do, I will again query my original table, right? And join back it with qualified table. So qualified team. Okay. So I will say uh, it says syntax error. Okay. From is missing. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will join this table back to this team so that I know, so that I know that this team are qualifying. So I will say this AL inner join. Why I'm doing inner join? Because no, I have to do left join, right? Because I need all the records from this table. If I do inner join, only those teams will come which are qualified. But I need all the teams, all the members. So that's why I will do a left join. So I will say qualified team QT on AL dot team ID equal to QT dot team ID. Okay. So let me run this now and I'll show you. So I'll take all the columns. I will take AL dot star, all the columns from AL table and then all the columns from QT table. And let's run this. Okay. So if you see these two columns are coming from this CT, which I joined here, right? What is happening is all these column values are coming, whatever teams are qualified and team two is not qualified. And since I have done a left join, all the records are coming as null. All the columns from right tables are coming as null because this is a, this is, this, this T2 is not present in the right table qualified team. So what I can do, I can just say now that case when, so I need all the members whose criteria is Y, criteria one and criteria two, also team is qualified. So I will say case when, criteria one and criteria two equal to Y and, and QT dot team ID, right, is not null, right? If it is null, it means that team is not qualified. So if I will say QT means this qualified team, team ID should not be null, right? This team ID should not be null. If it is not null and these two criteria satisfied, then Y else N and as uh, qualified flag, whatever, right? And if I run this now, let me put a comma here and uh, this is an extra comma. Okay, let me run this now, full query. If you see, I have got qualified flag Y for these four members. See, this guy did not get because one of the criteria is N, right? Again, these are all N because this, this team is not qualified. So this is coming as L, right? And that is how these guys are also getting Y because there's at least two members which qualifies the team. Okay, now instead of team ID is not null, you can even say number of eligible members not null, anything is fine, right? You can even say number of eligible members is not null because all the columns will come null from the right table, wherever, wherever there is no matching record in the right table. So it is fine. You can use any column and it will work. Okay, so this is our normal first method. We call it arm zindagi. 
now let's do mentos zindagi okay so for mentos zindagi what i will do i will quickly copy this one okay and what i will do is qt is not there let's remove it and let's comment this part for the time being now what i will do what i am going to do is i will find using using window function the count of members within a team which are eligible right so what i will do i will say sum is when okay let's copy this part then one else zero and okay over partition by partition by what team id i'll tell you what i'm doing just bear with me for a second team id okay as eligible member count Let me run this query alone now. Okay, so if you see here, if you see here, I am getting what I am doing. I am saying if the criteria is y, criteria one and criteria two is y, then take it as one, else zero. And now I am saying do a window sum, window of partition by team ID. So for each team ID, so for T one, apply this criteria and take sum. So there are four members which are eligible, right? So I'm getting four, four, four for all the members here, right? If you see, I'm getting four for all the members of team because I'm doing partition by team ID. So number of eligible members will be aggregated and will be visible in this column. Okay. Now, if you look at the team T2, there is only one member. So we are getting one, one, one member, right? Now again, in the team T3, there are two members eligible, right? So I'm getting two, 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 right? Now, what can I do? I can just use this condition again, right? And say case when criteria one is Y, criteria two is Y and eligible member count, right? Is greater than or equal to two than Y else N, right? This should do for me, right? So one will not be considered, right? These guys will not be considered. And I'm also checking this one. Now the problem is, now the problem is in SQL Server or in most of the database, you cannot use this derived column in the next column, right? So instead of this, what I have to do is, I'll just put the condition itself. So this derivation, I will put as it is. I will take it. And instead of this variable, I will just put it. Okay. And then, I will say if it is qualified flag or not. Okay. Let's run this. If you see again, we are getting Y by Y for first four members. This guy is N. In this team, everyone is N. And in this last team, again, we have Y by So we have again achieved the same output without using subqueries or CT or joints. Right. And we don't even need this. I can just remove this and that's it. This is the shorter query. Right. If I run this again, so this is called Mentos Zindagi, where we have achieved the same thing in a fewer lines of code. Okay, let me know if you have some other better solution. If you think, put it in the comment box. I will check it and let you know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.